Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a Minecraft mod. The mod is Kanamane Damacraft, which allows you to play um, a Katamari game in your Minecraft. The specific map I'm going to be playing this on is Canopy Carnage, which this mod was totally made for this map. It's a super hostile map, and as you see, it's made of trees. So pretty. I got to play it a couple times and I really enjoy this. It's still a little glitchy, but I'd still recommend um, downloading it if the update didn't screw up this up. I'm playing 1.6.6 um, still because I just got all my mods working and I'm not good to switch to 1.7 yet. Um, some notes I've got for playing this. Most pretty much all the issues you run into. Just quit out of Minecraft and restart it and it'll work. Like sometimes you'll have issues if you try to play games back to back with the uh, Katamari, etc, etc. Um, another thing is sometimes it doesn't like you being below what um, would be ground level in a normally rendered Minecraft world. That's why I'm in this tree. This tree is actually about the um, normal level and down there is low. So if you're gonna do it on a map like this, get wherever the normal height is. Um, other things, uh, rendering. All this stuff is a little bit hard on the machine. So I found fast, short, and max FPS to be the combination that works best. Even normal um, distance rendering just doesn't quite work well. Um, the only way to get it to lose this is either you run out of time, which you start out with a certain amount of time and get more the more levels you go up, or you lose health. When you're actually playing, you can't see your health, so just you'll have to guess how you're doing health-wise and try not to do things that will get you hurt. Um, you do see your character flash when you're damaged, but it's a little bit hard to see and you tend to be more focused on rolling. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, this is the ball as it starts out. And yeah, I like this because I can get here without hurting myself, can get out of the tree without hurting myself too much. Um, you start out only being able to pick up some stuff. And my personal favorite strategy is to... Um, stick to sand because sand picks up really well and do that until I'm about level five because then it's a lot safer to go around the forest um, at certain levels you're able to pick up more like I just hit level two and that means I can now pick up light blocks which that counts as wood and things when you very first start you can only pick up sand and leaves um, which is why we're sticking here because there's so much well, there's lots of foliage, there's also um, lots of wood in there, so it's good if we're big enough to be happy with that. Um, level 4 gets you big enough to start picking up stone, and level 6 gets you big enough to start picking up obsidian, I think, off the top of my head. Um, about level 9 is as high as I've gotten in this. And again, this is a lot of fun. Um, do, do, do. That's a little bit more in there. Oh, 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 oh. On the other hand, I might be able to go in here. Um, it is possible to get stuck, so you want to be careful rolling around. Um, yeah, just keep your eyes open. Because you'll roll up into something and you'll not be quite big enough to keep rolling in anything to get there, but you get yourself wedged somewhere. So keep that in mind when you're rolling. Just a whole lot of fun doing things like this. Where? Oh, yes. Oh, and the camera does go weird occasionally.
Um, other things to note. Play this on a world you don't care about. Because as you, this actually does most of the world, as you can see from the tracks from other times I've played this. So this is a copy of my Canopy Carnage map. I don't care if I totally mess this up. Um, do a map you feel the same about. It is really fun playing um, on a big map like this. I would recommend finding, downloading something to try it with. But yeah, be playing something that you're okay with. Um, other things to note, if you have single player command that does pause stuff. Which is useful if you need to um, set the time to day or set the weather to sun because night and rain are not good for those of us watching. Um, other little controls, you can zoom in and out with the right, left and right spot button um, and you can jump with the space bar. Archer, Archer. Let us hope they don't hit me. Oh gosh, just look at that. <laughs> It'll straight out eventually, but right now it looks really funny. Just really fun because just luck. Rolling up these massive trees. It's awesome. As you see, sometimes the camera will decide just to mess with you. But again, it, it's a little glitchy, but it's still pretty fun just going around there, going, oh my gosh, look at the damage. Look at the carnage you're causing. Look at all those poor, poor trees. I swear I like trees. I just, this is so fun. Taking a catamar to a massive garden. <sighs> I think I could, if I thought I could get back in time, I would actually go back to the cat temple. But I don't think I'm... Maybe I will try that with a second game. I will see if I can get myself big enough to um, roll in the temple and then roll in there. Because that'd be so much fun. There we go! Box combo 414. And it drops you back um, somewhere.
Oh gosh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> there. It's supposed to drop you off close to where you finish, but oh gosh, if I could tell. Um. There we go. Okay, it does drop me somewhat close to where Catamara Barla is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and try a second game just to sh see if I can get to do the error to show you guys why you want to restart between games. Um doo -doo -doo -doo. as you see, yeah, my health got I was I started up max health and now I'm down to almost out. Um But this is why you do new things. Because it gives you gold to cut a marble. But you're still at the same level, so you can't um There. And see, I hurt myself because usually you um, spawn in such a way that you're stuck in a tree. See, adding to it, I'm going to get a game over. And then it's going to do this and be bouncy as heck. That's okay. All you just need to do is save and quit the title, go back in, um, and click if you're going to be just playing around normally. And it drops you back here. Um, if you're going to do another game, then you just close Minecraft as I'm about to do. And yeah, I'm going to see if I can get big enough that I can roll around here. Because we're rolling up the temple. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. Let's try that. Okay. We are now going to try see if we can do a game and get ourselves to the um be big enough that we can go back and do the temple so this clearly calls for going this way carefully watching out for sharks and then turning back around um, right, yes sharks on that normal Minecraft, this is um, the Mo Creatures mod, of course, which is awesome and glorious. And I know there's enough hostile things in this game. Why did you add shark stuff? Um, because it's fun. That's why I find it fun to add ogres. And well, no, ogres was one thing I didn't add because um, I thought that would be a bad idea when I want to actually let the trees go in my normal game. But beyond that, I have pretty much all the other creatures turned on, like ghast and um, sharks and wolves and werewolves, and it's pretty fun. Oh, and big cats, not that I've seen much of them. Um, oh, but I do have piranhas turned off. <sighs> it was too much of a win for that. But that's a good mod. Um, fairy's a good mod. The fairy mod is the other one I have on here. Um, I don't actually have too many items. Um, I thought about it, but I haven't. Probably just mainly because I'm lazy and it's not like I actually do that much building. I, I like building, but I like exploring way more. And there we go, finally we are level 5. So we're going to try going this way. just love his little taunts. There, so let's try this, considering this is a dangerous way to go. There's um, lots of stuff. Lots of things. Oh gosh! And you're asking, what are all those trees doing in your front yard? Well, I really like- I wasn't kidding when I said I like the forest. Um, 
So instead of having to destroy it, um, I just planted more trees in the front because it's so easy to get samplings. So that's why there's trees in the front. <laughs> Go around and cut them and they serve all my needs and oh my gosh. I'm just gonna get up here as best I can. And with the thing going up in the air, well that goes to the sky bridge. Not that you can see it that well. Yep, it's up there. Pretty much at its, when I say sky bridge, I mean a bridge that almost goes up as far as you can go. Oh gosh, so much damage I'm getting. I'm either gonna not get up high enough on time, or I'm not there. This is a slob, it's not working. Oh well. Anyway, that gives you a small taste of the mod. It's fun. You should check it out. Where am I? By slime. Of course I'm by slime. Um, just again. I need a little tundra card with it. It's totally worth it. And just look at this. Would you not want to try remodeling this way? This is not like, like a fun way to totally mess up your world. Um, just look at that. I'm gonna get rid of those. Let's look at our damage. I think I actually managed most damage. But yeah, if you just if you want to try something that's a little bit different, um, I definitely recommend the Kanamani Domicraft mod, and I would also go ahead and suggest taking it to a super hostile map like Canopy Carnage. It's going to be horrible on your computer, but it'll be totally worth it because just. Look at that. Yeah, you're not seeing much, but there! Can wreak much havoc on the map in a pretty short time. Thank you all for watching.